everyone, welcome to Retro Planner Co. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install and use the Apple Links and our planners. So the process is really simple. Um, it's the same across all of our planners. In order to use the, let's get to that page. In order to use the Apple Links that are included in the planner, you do have to do one little extra step. You only have to do it once and then you're done and then you can just use the links going forward. For the Google links, they are already set up and ready to go. All you have to do is click on Google whenever you see the little G on any of the pages and that will open you right up into the Google Calendar. Um, if you have the app on your device, it'll open that. If you do not, it'll open the website like it just did there. Um, so to activate the Apple links, you'll notice that if you're in the planner and you haven't done this step, you're going to click on the Apple link and you're going to click yes to proceed and it's going to say the file doesn't exist because you have to install the shortcut before using it. Um, this is an Apple thing, so it's nothing that I can control. Also, real quick, it's important for me to note that all of the planners for Retro Planner Co. link to Apple calendars and Google calendars and some the newer ones also link to Apple reminders. However, they do not sync, meaning that if you enter an event into your planner, it is not going to automatically show up in your, like if you're just writing something or adding something to your calendar, your uh, spread, it's not going to automatically show up in your Apple calendar or Google calendar that would be syncing and that is just not um, a function that as a creator I am able to um, install or add at this time. However, if you do, if you have Zoom notes, you can kind of um, implement that feature and set it up on your own. Uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial, it's, I'm just going to be showing you how to activate the Apple links and use them within our planners. So the first thing you need to do on the first page of the planners, the help page, you will find directions right here at the bottom. I am in the customizable portrait planner, but this will this is the same process across any of the planners. Um, so on your iPad, you just go to settings, shortcuts, and enable private sharing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Settings, find the shortcuts, and then right here, enable private sharing. Um, you only have to do this one time and once you're done activating the link, you can come back in and deactivate this and you won't mess anything up. So once that's done, you go back and open up the planner. And then you can click here on this link to enable Apple Calendar links. And then click yes. And doing this will set up the shortcut, which will allow you to be able to use the link. So you just click set up shortcut. It's the retro planner shortcut. If you ever delete this shortcut in on your device, then the Apple links will no longer work. So just set it up. You can choose here which um, PDF annotation app that you are using from a list of apps. I um, have it defaulted to GoodNotes, so I'm going to keep it there and click add shortcut. Once that's done, you can go to the all shortcuts and check it and see that it's right here. It's the purple one with Retro Planner and the little iPad on it. So then you can go back into GoodNotes um, and then you can use any of the Apple links contained within the planner. So I'm gonna do that on the January monthly. If I just click on the Apple link, you'll get a question to proceed that always pops up. It'll flash briefly with the shortcut menu. It'll, it'll go right away. So for the Apple, for the newer planners, you have the choice between adding an event or adding a reminder. So I'll take you through the event right now. Click on event, you can choose the current date or a specified date. And let's see, I'll choose the fourth. And you can choose your time down here. So I'm gonna say I have an appointment at like four o'clock. Click done. I have noticed recently with GoodNotes that sometimes this screen right here doesn't pop up right away. If that happens when you're trying to add a new event, turn your planner, like change the orientation of it. If you're in landscape, switch it to portrait. If you're in portrait, 
to switch it to landscape and it'll usually prompt this menu to pop up. This time I got lucky and it actually popped up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an event here. So I'll do doctor. And you can choose whether you want it all day, if you want it to repeat, um, which calendars you wanna put it on, if you want an alert and all that good stuff. Once you're done, you can click add. And then you can um, choose to allow it to output calendar events. I choose always allow. And then it is done. Then you can just go into your calendar and you'll see that it has been added into your calendar. So to add a reminder, you do go through the same process. You just click on the Apple link, click yes. And then it'll flash the shortcuts real fast and it'll show you this menu again. So just click add new reminder. And I'm going to be reminded about grocery shopping. Click done. You get to choose if you have multiple lists set up, um, they'll show up here. So I'll just choose um, this one and grocery shopping would be on Thursday. And I usually want to do it, let's see, early. And then you can put any notes in here. And done. And then that is already um, set up for you. To make sure that has been done, you can just click on your Reminders app. And then you can see right here it has been added. So that is how you use the um, Google and Apple Calendar links within the planners at Retro Planner Co.